In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fake shallow depth of field so that you can have your subject in focus and a nice blurry background. And the technique I'm gonna teach you, I haven't seen anyone else teach, so I'm super pumped. It's pretty quick and easy. Let's hop into Premiere and check it out. Just wanna clarify, this isn't a color correction tutorial, but we are gonna be using Lumetri Color to create that shallow depth look to take this shot where everything's pretty much in focus to this. If you don't see Lumetri Color, pop over to Window and check mark it here. Double click on HSL Secondary to open it up. We're gonna be working with these eyedroppers, so let's first grab the plus eyedropper and click on the background to make a rough selection. To get a better look at exactly what's been selected, check mark color gray. Okay, so everything that's still visible is what will be affected when we start to make our adjustments, and everything that's grayed out will not be affected. Under refine, let's increase blur to around 15 to refine the edges more. Okay, and you may notice I missed a bit of the background here, so I'll grab the plus eyedropper again to get the top part of this wall, and one more time to get these black circles. Selecting those black circles has also brought some of her dark hair through. So let's grab the minus eyedropper and click on her hair to remove it from the selection. Okay, so this has done an okay job, but to further refine our selection, we can also adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now that we have just the background selected, let's turn color gray off, and let's change fit screen to 200% so we're nice and zoomed in. Under correction, we'll bring sharpen all the way down to minus 100, and the background's now blurred. Go back to fit view. Depending on how subtle or intense you want this blurred background to look on your clip, in effect controls, you can copy Lumetri color and paste it a few times to increase the blurred background even more. And let's check this out. Okay, so that's done an awesome job of blurring the background, keeping our subject in focus, and we have some nice fall off of her hair and clothes. And there you go. That's a pretty quick and easy way to fake shallow depth of field and get your background looking nice and blurry in Premiere. Thanks for checking this video out. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up to let us know. And we have over 100 other filmmaking tutorials, so if you're into that sort of thing, check out our channel and subscribe for the latest. Thanks, and we'll see you in another video.